All right, so this is my baby hawk. R. R. Um, I did do a couple things to it, so I'm not gonna be talking about the entire this entire quad because too many people already have all the cool guys on YouTube that got theirs for free before anybody else could even buy one. I already uh, talked about everything there is to talk about about this thing, but. All I wanted to do was talk about the like three or four things that uh, if they would change on this, uh, it would just be the most perfect quad. So one of the things, uh, and I don't have it anymore because I just I threw it in the garbage. I'm not going to dig through my garbage, but it's in my garbage, and it was the battery strap. The battery strap was just garbage. That's why it's in the garbage. It was just a piece of crap. Uh, please, somebody out there, please make some good battery straps for micros. Not 200 millimeter, not even 150 millimeter. Make one that's 100 millimeter. 100 millimeter with that's rubberized. Please. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. If Emacs would add a nice battery strap, I mean, how much is that? How much more is that going to cost them? You know, not much, I'm sure. Um, this is a really nice battery pad right here. It's rubber and it's just awesome. I would love to have one of these on every single one of my quads. Just holds the battery so nice. So, um, and then the next thing is get rid of the, uh, the capacitor that's dangling off the side there and put it inside. You know? Because nobody wants to see that thing just hanging out the side there. I took mine off and I ran it up behind the camera. Uh, you can see it right there behind the camera. Much better there. Um, another thing, the antenna, and I know I've heard other people talking about mentioning this, how they ran it up through here. Obviously, this hole's for something. Um, I guess you I guess it's, maybe it's for reading the number. I don't know, but you can read the number through the plastic anyway So I don't I don't get what why that hole is there or this hole This hole is probably for maybe a receiver antenna and maybe this is for your FPV antenna Even though it comes with it dangling out the back here and that could easily go up into the props So you got to put it up through here and then um, So that that's three things right there and then uh, throw some zip ties on the arms. You know, protect these motor wires. These motor wires are just hanging out there, you know. I mean, throw some zip ties on there. Zip ties, they don't cost you shit. So that's four things right there. Those four little things, if they would just do that, it would make this thing just perfect. So I got this thing because I want to really get to know my QX7. And I'm going to just fly this thing however I want, as crazy as I want, crash it all I want until I really get used to my radio. And I think this is going to do the job because it's it's super thick and tough. The canopy's tough. The arms are thick and stiff. Uh, the motors are tough. You know, everything about this thing's tough. It can take a beating. Definitely. I love this little lip that comes out right here. Protects the camera. Pretty awesome. Um, and I got the plug and play one. So it came with three little wires dangling out the side here, which is awesome. I'm so glad that they did that because on this stack, and I love this stack too. I use this stack in a lot of other quads, the Emacs Mag Mini Magnum. Uh, I love it for a bunch of different reasons, but one of the main reasons I love it is it doesn't power the VTX when you plug in just the USB, like a lot of other flight controllers do. And... Um, for the UART, it's UART 3 for FR Sky and Spectrum. So that's why they have the three wires dangling out here because you can run a Spectrum receiver or a FR Sky receiver and it's the same UART, so you don't have to change anything. And I thought that I was going to be able to just solder up those three wires, plug in a battery, and arm it, but that wasn't the case. And I'll show you what I had to do to get it to arm. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever had this issue before where you... Everything's perfect, everything's hooked up right, you got your receiver bound and everything, 
and you go to arm it and all you hear is those beeps. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, and that's telling you that there's something wrong. So that's what it did for me. And I thought it was supposed to be all set up ready to go, but I guess it's not. There was a few other things I changed too besides that, but that was the uh, low, the low throttle or whatever it's called in the uh, receiver tab. It was at 1,000 and the max is at 2,000. You got to raise the the low up to 1,050 to get rid of that beeping and be able to arm. Otherwise, it won't arm and it'll just sit there beeping all day. So yeah, now that I got and I put a uh, XM Plus in here, so it's ready to go now. Should arm. Oh, there we go. Shut up. That'll happen if you try to arm too early before the flight controller is ready. So I don't know if there's something online that tells you what the beeps are. I think there is, but I don't know. I haven't ever checked because I'm so used to diagnosing these kinds of issues that um, I don't ever try to figure out what the beeping is or anything. I just do my go-to things that usually fixes what the problem is, you know, so... Anyway, yeah, there it is, ready to go. This thing's gonna be awesome for learning my radio. So yeah, I'll have some uh, DVR footage to come. If you're wondering, this is a Panda 500 milliamp hour three cell. Fits on there pretty nice. Oh, I was going to say something else. This freaking frame totally reminds me of another frame that I used to use way back in the day. If you look at it from the bottom, does that not look just like a uh, Phoenix Flight Gear 120? That brush frame? <laughs> it looks just like it. The skinny center, and then the arms coming out. But yeah, there we go. Baby Hawk R, pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited to fly it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, here's where you get in the box. So the quad comes right here. You get your remote for the camera. You get two sets of the Avon props. They look like pretty sweet props. Can't wait to try them out. And that's all you get. The instruction book for the uh, camera and the Baby Hawk underneath. Oh, and they give you like a bag of screws too. Alright, I'm done.